What the culture vulture allows us to do is to add three different flavors of distortion. They're referred to as topologies. They literally change the relationship between um, the internal components of the processor to give us different flavors of distortion. And the first one of those, this one that I currently have selected, is T mode. You can see that's hiding underneath this dial. This is triode mode, and what it does is to add even numbered harmonics. What I've then got is two forms of pentode mode, P1 and P2. And what these do is to add odd numbered harmonics. Now it just so happens that even numbered harmonics produce much smoother, warmer treatments. So they're going to be subtler. And we can use the culture vulture even to process entire buses. So in other words, a sort of two bus for all of our drums or even the two bus of our mix, we could pass the entire mix through this processor just to warm it up a little bit. Now then, how will we go about doing that? Well, that's where these two other dials come into play. What we have here is a drive amount, which is effectively the input gain dial, how much volume we're adding by pushing it through the culture vulture, and then bias. Now, what bias does is to change the amount of electrical current passing through to the tube in this unit. 